If microplastics are smaller than a grain of rice, how harmful is it if we find it across different natural ecosystems? Researchers from the University of Canterbury collected samples from 19 sites and found an average of 29 particles per litre of fresh melted snow in Antarctica. This is higher than what has previously been reported in the Ross Sea Shelf and Antarctic Sea Ice. The most common variety was polyethylene terephthalate, which is found in plastic bottles and some clothes according to Cryosphere, the journal in which the study was published. Finding their source in Antarctica is not easy. They could come from local research stations, but also over 3,000 miles away. While microplastics have previously been found in sea ice and fresh water, this is the first instance of it being discovered in fresh snow, indicating that they are now airborne, being carried across boundaries and settling into locations through precipitation, somewhat like acid rain. Apart from deep oceans and remote corners of forests, in 2020, they were also found at the summit of Mount Everest. Microplastic pollution has multidimensional adverse effects. When algae or a heavy metal gets stuck to a piece that is wading across the world, harmful substances can land up in places where they would otherwise not be found. When humans ingest it, it can cause cell death, reproductive dysfunction, growth issues and several allergic reactions over time. Researchers also claim that dark-coloured microplastics along with substances like black carbon, which absorb light, are also making the glaciers melt faster. Rapid glacial melting is introducing a new spate of disasters across the world, like avalanches, glacial lake outbursts and threatening settlements living nearby. Currently, about 100 million tonnes of plastic waste leaks into the environment. This is likely to double by 2060.